Hey, what's up? Hello and welcome. My name is Maya and I'm Maya the Simmer. Today we have our third part to our Nightmare Legacy Challenge. If you're excited, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, today's episode should be really fun and we should move along with the family and our beautiful sim here, Hallie Bustos. Uh, thank you for everyone that commented on the first two videos. I finally got to check out all the comments and your love and support shows me that you like the series and the idea of doing a Nightmare Legacy Challenge on the channel. So we're gonna continue with the series and I am so excited. Right now we are literally where we left off last episode. Hallie is reading her logic book, but she's going to put it away because I want her to eat some dinner and we're actually going to invite over Alex. You guys loved him. I'm so happy that you all loved him because I love him too. And we will be inviting him over to move in right now because I don't want to waste a minute. And Hallie over here doesn't want to waste a minute. Her life is short, so we have to get a move on it. And I like that you guys understand that. So she's going to invite him over. Uh, he should be heading over so we can ask him to move in. And then I'm going to have him ask her to be his girlfriend. She is romantic, so I think she'll like that. But here's Alex. I'm excited to be able to create our control another sim i'm not used to playing in these small households but let's invite him in oh look at him he saw hallie and was like oh she's beautiful i can't wait to see how he perceives her and like all his skills and stuff because this is a save file so he should have skills in a career and everything so it should be great yes okay move in together all right so this is who he was living with it was joel rowan and they were two friends living in del sol valley they are broke wow 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 um good thing you're coming over here alex and uh he fa ended up found finding someone kristen rowan i guess he married her or i think he married kristen yeah and she had two kids so yeah it's time for him to move out of that bachelor pad and into his own house with his almost girlfriend so let's do that we're not going to take any of their money because they're just as poor as we are. So now we have Alex here and he has work. He came over just to say hey while he has work. So he's gonna quickly, quickly um, compliment her parents. He's not gonna just like go straight in for a, um, will you be my girlfriend without telling her that he thinks she's beautiful um, and confess attraction to her. Like I'm really attracted to you not only on like a physical level, but like emotionally as well. And then he's going to ask her to be his girlfriend. And then we're gonna quickly send him to work. Uh, yeah, cause he's late and he is level four of his career. So he's kind of far up. Um, not really, but like further than one. So that's great. Yay, 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 yay. They go out, how cute, too cute. She's so happy. Okay, so we're, we're gonna have them woohoo when he gets back. Um, so he's gonna go to work or maybe before Hallie goes to work. No, you have to stop chatting with her. Just head to work, love. Cool, you can finish your mac and cheese and then we need to kind of expand the house. So hopefully he brings us home just a little bit so we can add a double bed because now we have two Sims. So we are going to move off of a micro home and probably be a... Uh, Mid, or what's the next one tiny home so we won't get all of the benefits but that's fine all right he came back home with 153 simoleons and he has three candles in his inventory list these on plopsy we did always see him at the maker station maybe he was really making candles because maybe he wants to give one to hallie oh that's so sweet but he has nowhere to sleep because we have no bed and they have nowhere to woohoo i mean they can woohoo in the shower but we'll wait on that so let's um see what we can get them all right so i got them a bed and i expanded just a little bit now that they're considered a tiny home all right they can both fit in here um which is great <laughs> Um, I didn't want them to go both like stay asleep, but I guess they can just go to sleep now and then woohoo in the morning. <laughs> Ooh, exciting. All right, let's try this again. Do you want to woohoo? 
let's see and i have wonderful whims in so it's not going to say try for baby instead it's just going to say woohoo because i don't have like that switch turned off so yeah but let's see if they get pregnant or she gets pregnant from this but yes their first woohoos as boyfriend and girlfriend oh this is so exciting <laughs> all right let's have her take a pregnancy test when she's done oh she's not pregnant i think we're going to have her try after work i think mm, she'll she'll want to wait so let's have her take a quick shower and get some food let me see how she's doing in her career we're on level three and we're not even close to a promotion so i think i'm gonna send her into work for today and then tomorrow we'll probably stay home for work actually let me see alex schedule because oh no he's off today but he's also off for the next three days so yeah we can spend tomorrow with him instead of today so we'll send her into work for today he's doing the dishes oh we love a domestic man oh yes but let's look at his skills what skills do you have he has level five charisma level three cooking level four fabrication level two fitness gardening is two logic one mixology four parenting three cool um and then he has a singing skill nice Oh, and his aspiration is the mixologist skill. He wants to make 10 drinks. So no wonder he's making a drink. Maybe we can actually go dumpster diving with Alex today. See, he didn't even drink his drink. It was for practice. Put that in the fridge then. All right, Hallie's off to work. Let's have her work hard. I just noticed that before we go, we can finally harvest all of the avocados. We're going to plant some more trees. Maybe we'll just grow avocados on this lot. I think that would be cool. We're going to have him practice making drinks. I was going to send him to the maker space, but I think I want to wait until Hallie gets back because I want both of them to look in the garbage. Plus, she has all like the plates and stuff to put in the dumpster. So we'll just wait. All right, good. He's already level five in mixology. So let's have him finish off this prepare food and drink. What drink should you make? Let's see what your favorite drink is. Oh, he's so innocent. It's a root beer float. How cute. All right, we're gonna have him um, make dinner tonight to finish that off. But for now, let's go beachcombing so we can look for things. Maybe beachcomb for trash. I never do that. What do you actually find? And then we can beachcomb for seashells after. He found one heart of Sulani. How much can we sell that for? 265 not bad i want to give him and hallie like a more sulani look because you wouldn't wear sneakers and jeans and flannel on a beach you know so i'm gonna give them a makeover um probably before the episode ends one moon snow one moon snail seashell so let's sell that all right i think he's done beach combing so let's have him go in and make dinner. What should we make for Hallie for tonight? Maybe make her some pan fried tilapia. He's so sweet. Like, look at him making dinner for his girl before she comes home. Oh, I love him. I do. Don't eat any. It's for dinner. Let's put that in the fridge. Let's take one of the candles off of Plopsy so that way we can have like a candlelit dinner and then they can woohoo and try for a baby again. So let's unlist for Plopsy. Oh no! We voted for upcycling initiative and then we didn't even get any like upset. <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I was gonna say we didn't get any upcycling initiatives and then the NAP inspector just like, you know almost died on our front porch that scared me so much <laughs> oh my goodness and she's probably gonna fail us now like oh yeah she's probably angry quickly shower before hallie gets home so you can be nice and waiting for her oh he's making this so special i love that all right let me put the plates out for her and then where's the candle oh my goodness you guys look at this oh i love this all right let me make sure he can sit here all right hallie came home she brought 513 simoleons holy smokes that's a lot of simoleons and she's gonna walk in the house and she's like babe it's raining and then she's gonna be like oh my goodness did you make this for me love that is so sweet and she can tell him all about her day so i don't even know if she's hungry are you hungry yeah you're a little hungry you guys kind of ruined it. He's like, oh, let me give you a kiss. Hello. Oh, so sweet. And then you can sit down and eat. Hallie, please sit down. You're ruining the aesthetic. Please. I, I love them. 
I love them. Maybe oh, ask a ask her a risque question like, "Are you almost yeah. done eating?" Because I would love to go into the bedroom. Oh, I love them. I love them. I love them. All right. I think she's almost done eating. She's like so flirty that she's not even focusing on eating. Like, Hallie, hurry up so we can go in what there and maybe, you know, woo -hoo. so you can get pregnant and we can continue the legacy, you know. We got things to do. Oh, he's cleaning up. He was like, I was waiting for you to finish eating before I cleaned up. Oh, I love him. He's perfect. He is quite literally perfect. So that means let's go in here and woohoo. Tell me you guys love them as much as I do. Please be pregnant, Hallie. All right, Hallie, before you go to sleep, love, let's take a pregnancy test. All right, love, please be pregnant. Yes, yes, she's eating for two. Congratulations, Hallie. Oh, I'm so excited. Please, please, please be a boy so it can be our heir. But she's like, I'm pregnant, babe. And he's like, oh my goodness, yes. I think he would like that. He seemed really happy with that news. Big news, yes. Oh yeah, isn't he family oriented? So he's going to love that. Oh my goodness. All right, let's head off to bed. Oh no, no, you guys don't need to woohoo again. One time was enough. We're gonna head off to bed and then tomorrow Hallie is going to work from home so they can go to the makerspace together. All right, Alex is, oh, I was gonna say Alex is up, but they're both up bright and early. The candle's all gone now. I wonder if we can throw that away when we go. Um, what are you guys doing? Oh, he's just going to chat with her like, good morning. Oh, they are so cute. Oh, this needs to be clean. Please clean this floor. Let's see your needs. They're actually really good. You're, you're gonna get hungry soon. So how about you use and uh take a shower and someone wants to buy the candle so we're gonna have him um ship that on plopsy he always wants to just go in and chat with her he's so cute he's probably like how's you, how are you how is the baby how did you sleep he cares about her so much but i think we're gonna actually head over to the maker space relatively early because i want um i want them to look like really early in the day but before they go i'm gonna actually update their looks a little just to fit the sulani vibes a little bit and she got her lottery ticket which is great but let's um give them a little makeover and create a sim all right i gave both of them some new outfits that fit more with sulani so they look great and we are going to have them head off to the makerspace so let's have them travel oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness oh who the hell is brenda oh my he has a girlfriend i could have swore we asked him if he had a girlfriend he said no then who the oh <laughs> let's head to the maker space quickly so i can look in his friend group oh my goodness all right buddy let's look in this friend group i <gasps> Oh my goodness, he does have a girlfriend. No, he doesn't. They're not girlfriends. They're soulmates though. Oh my goodness. You guys? How? <gasps> no. No, I don't know what to do. She's pregnant already, you guys. And I... I I quite literally, no, 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 no. Don't throw that away. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're, you're throwing it away in the dumpster. That's where I want you to throw it away. I mean, all right, let's, let's just play the game. <laughs> I can't sit with it pause forever. We're going to have him dig in the garbage today because he's quite literally garbage. He has someone else and Hallie's already pregnant. Where are you putting the plate, sir? No, 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 no. This is why I like doing it. No, 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 no but i don't know what to do you guys i mean technically hallie doesn't know that he has a soulmate with like he likes someone else brenda i don't even know who this girl is this is the problem with playing in a save like i didn't know that he had someone else i don't know what to do Hallie technically wouldn't know, right? Like, unless he tells her. So 
I'm gonna need your your guys' help because I thought Alex was perfect. This whole episode, I'm like, oh, he's great. I love Alex. The whole time he's kind of high key trash, like really trash. And yeah, I don't know. What should I do? Oh, there's another pregnant lady. All right, let's, cause I want to get this done before work, and we need to interview someone. So actually, is she talking to someone? We can just interview whoever she's talking to. But I don't know what to do for poor Hallie. I hope that girl doesn't show up today. Uh -huh. I can't yeah, believe yeah. he has like, and that's not just like, you know, a little romance with someone. He okay. has a lot of romance with that girl. It's like the same as. <gasps> She's pregnant. No, no. No, you guys, I promise, I swear. I swear to you, I did not do this. I did not do this. I did not do... I can't even breathe. I did not do this. I need to check right now if it's his kid. I've never had my game do this. She has two children currently. We didn't even ask him. I have to check his family tree. <gasps> She's pregnant with one girl and it's Alex, baby. <laughs> you guys... Oh my goodness. I swear to you, I did not do this. List your children. Who's who's the, we don't know, April and Mari? Is that his kid? No, okay, he doesn't have any kids right now, but he has kids with this girl and I did not invite her here. I did not do this, you guys. I think we moved way too fast with Alex. I can't believe he has another girl pregnant at the same time as Hallie. She's up here. I I quite literally can't handle this and I don't know how to play this and how to do this. I'm just going to keep it honest with you guys because that is wild. Just give me a second. Okay? Hey, give me a second. Girl. I've never a I'm so close. I want to know what she's having. I can't believe yeah, this. Man. He's he's slimy. Okay. I think I I I wanted Alex to be good. I did. I did. Where did Alex go? She's down here. Hallie still hasn't found out. I kind of want her to find out naturally about this. I don't want to force it too much because this is just gold automatically. Let me hurry up and finish this homeowner's thing before I forget and before she gets too sad when she figures out that Alex is a slime ball. I did not know this was how it was going to happen. I did not know this is what we're going to be doing. I thought we were going to have a happy episode, you all. I just... This is quite literally a nightmare. There he is. I just, I can't even look at him. This is quite literally a nightmare legacy. This man is awful. He is awful. I can't believe that. I don't even want to control him anymore because I don't like him. Look, she's talking about breaking up. You guys, Hallie's going to be a single mom. I'm not letting Hallie be dumb over Alex. You guys have to let me know. I just, I can't. I, my brain is going, okay, you're going to work from home today. Most definitely. I forgot it's so early in the day. So come over here before anyone does this. Because I just want him to do it for me <laughs> until we, we, we kick him out the house. Because that's what's going to happen. I just don't know how I want Hallie to find out about this. Because he's not going to tell her. So do we just have her keep being in the dark? Tomorrow's Harvest Fest too. You guys don't understand that my mind is, I know you guys are home or wherever you are watching this video and you're probably like shocked as me, but I'm like really shocked that this man is not, you guys heard me in the beginning of the episode. I was going off on how perfect he was. I was like hyping him up so much, saying how great he was, how I made him do that whole dinner. I feel like I'm the one that's been scorned by this man. I feel like I'm the one that is angry <laughs> because he treated Hallie. He got her pregnant. I feel like he's like someone that just likes to toy women around. She doesn't know though. So let me not, let me not get worked up because she's not worked up yet because she doesn't know. So let's focus on work, okay? So you need to draft a municipal concept and perform a handiness or eco up eco parts upgrade on an appliance well we need to um we need to upgrade our house right 
So maybe we can do eco upgrade parts and upgrade something at home. All right, you know what? Since we want to do an upgrade, what are you doing? You're going to sort out the recyclables. How about you just dive next to him? She thinks this is like a nice day with her boyfriend and that they're just bonding over garbage. Like he loved seeing her being involved in the environment when they met. Maybe, um, what's her name? Brenda was coming to tell him that she was pregnant and he just found out now, but I don't think he still would tell her because he didn't even tell her that he had a Brenda. So I definitely don't think he's going to like, hey, also, hi, Hallie. I know you're pregnant and, oh, Angela's here. We should tell her we're pregnant, but we're, we're kind of busy. I know you're pregnant, but hey, I'm also having another baby with someone else. Just so you know, like, I don't think that's something he'll do. I know there's a fabricator up here. There is. Can we scrap this and try to uh, fabricate an eco upgrade part? So that way we can do some upgrades. We need around like three, two to three upgrade parts. So let's see how many we can make with her today. All right, Hallie finished the fabrication. She's gonna go quickly use the bathroom and we're gonna have her make a few more so she can do an eco upgrade, but we're gonna do it at our house. <laughs> not wasted on like something here. Haley's level two with fabrication already, nice. Maybe we can definitely afford a fabricator today. Alex has found so much stuff in the garbage today and it makes sense because trash would be able to find each other, you know? I just really don't like him now. Like just, oh, that got me so mad. Oh, she finished another one. She makes them really quickly, really quickly. He found so many good things. I think it's about time we head home. They're hungry anyway, and Alex needs a shower. Like I said, Hallie doesn't know that he has someone else pregnant. So yeah, we're just gonna head on home. All right, they're home. Um, she's starving, so let's have her get some leftovers. Oh, she's gonna go grill. I mean, yeah, why not? And he's gonna go shower, perfect. All right, she has to do some, girl, you made, you made? No, 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 no. You made potatoes because you wanted potatoes. And you know you're not even supposed to be eating fish while you're pregnant. So please put that away. And eat the potatoes that you cooked. And she's so sad. I feel like she has intuition that something's going on with him. Because the reason she's sad is because she has a sentiment with him. And he's not doing too well. So I feel like she knows something is going on. And I feel like it's troubling him that he knows he has someone else pregnant and he's living with this girl in Sulani. He left, I don't know where he left cause I don't know where the girl lives or where they met, but you guys, that's, that's awful. All right, let's see, he got a lot of things. So I wanna sort through that before we send them off to bed for tonight. And she needs to do an upgrade before bed as well for her job. Um, but let's see, he found a lot of plants and he found strawberries and pomegranates, which I'm so happy for. So we can go out here and plant that. We don't need this simi and it's worth 500 simoleons. Awesome. I don't want this fish anymore. Oh, we could have used that as fertilizer. Shoot. All these dyes are going to go to Haley because I see her using that fabricator skill and we're going to get her. Um, a fabricator anyway. We found a bike for him. I don't know how long he's going to stay here. So let's just put that bike out for him. And you weren't supposed to go to sleep. You have to upgrade something. Let's do this one because it uses, actually, let's only use two in case we have to upgrade something else. So let her go upgrade those. What trimester is she in? She's going to be in her third trimester tomorrow. Do I have the ultrasound mod in? Cause I really want to know what she's having. Oh yeah, she can visit a gynecologist. So she's going to work from home again tomorrow and they're going to go to the gynecologist together to figure out what they're having. And then after you upgrade this, you can go to sleep as well and we can check out what they got in the inventory. Cause he should have found a lot of things. He's been diving all day. And she got 175 simoleons for completing her job, which is awesome. And she's in excellent range. Maybe we'll get a promotion tomorrow. Ooh, that's exciting. All right, he found so many items. I know this one needs to be recycled. We found that last episode. This one also needs to be recycled. So place that in the inventory. What about this? That as well. That as well. Oh my goodness, all of this stuff? 
what, 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 what's the purpose? Not the TV. It's only worth 25 simoleons and it would bring them a lot of fun. We just don't have anywhere to put it. I mean, we have more room now and they should have money. So let me just place that down. We found a bathtub. We can sell that for $8.75. We found a plant. Oh, that's cute. Let's just put that in here. All right, that is in good quality for 775 simoleons. Oh my goodness, you guys. I need to build a nursery anyway, so we need to figure out what we're having before I do that. And that's probably how we'll end the episode off is building that nursery. This is in good condition. Let's sell that. This is not. Please be in good condition fridge. It is. Ooh, it's a much nicer fridge than we currently have. Can we change the color? We can. Nice. All right, let's sell the old one and then put this new one in here. I know we could have got more money for the new one, but you kind of want just like a better fridge. And I think, oh wait, no, there's a stove. We don't want this stove. And we can sell that. And I think everything else we're going to want to recycle. But yes, a lot of money, 4,000 simoleons. We're definitely getting the fabricator at least right now. All right, that fabricator cost us a lot of money. So we are definitely going to probably go dumpster diving again. Oh, I never put the TV anywhere. Let me put that back in the inventory. All right, she woke up really having to use the bathroom. So go use that. <gasps> Hello, Alex, Brenda here. I wanted to let you know that I just had Emery, a beautiful baby girl. So now he knows that he has a daughter. Now, I don't know if you know, but for Nightmare Legacy or on short lifespan, the babies only have a day. So this baby is going to be a toddler soon. So maybe we'll end the episode off with Brenda bringing the toddler by. And that's how Haley finds out um, because the baby's going to be a toddler tomorrow. Also, I was looking at the calendar and it is Alex's birthday tomorrow. This is one of Haley's new outfits and I love it. It shows off her bump so well. Remember, they're gonna go to the gynecologist. So we're gonna see what Haley's having as well today, which I'm excited about. I'm hoping it's the boy so it can be our heir. But I'm kind of sad that like, you know, she's gonna be a single mom because she's not staying with him. I'm sorry, you guys, unless you guys can convince me, she's not staying with him. I'm excited to see what they're having i don't know i think i'm gonna wait until um oh she needs to upgrade this or repair this i think i'm going to wait um until alex gets up before they go to the gynecologist i want to get this over with quickly so we know who like what kind of nursery do we have to make i'm still like shook oh i didn't paint this wall <laughs> i'm still shook right now i can't believe this is all happening so quickly and look at her just happy that he's up she's such a romantic sim too this would be hard for her to imagine uh, imagine if she comes over on harvest fest because i don't know when this kid is going to age up i'm selling this for 210 yes i am i hate the gnomes all right i think they're both in an okay mood to go to the gynecologist so we can figure out what Haley's having so let's visit and she's gonna visit with Alex. You guys, I'm hoping for a boy because if if it's not, we're gonna have to find someone else for her to have a baby with. <laughs> Which should be interesting. Maybe she does find love again, but after this, I don't know. My trust will be all the way broken if I figured out that some guy I thought was perfect is having a baby with someone else at the same time as me and didn't tell me, I would lose my mind. But they're back from the gynecologist appointment, so let's go see what this ultrasound is telling us you guys i'm nervous i'm nervous i'm nervous all right let's put this on the wall okay ultrasound examination results the patient named above is pregnant with one baby it will most likely be a boy yes we get our boy we get our boy don't throw that away don't throw it away don't clean it up no 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 i need to take that with me to put it in the dumpster Come on, you, you know what we need to do. But she is having a boy, which is great. That's great um, because we know he's trash and we can finally get rid of him. His kid needs to age up because I it's not going to be the same if she doesn't bring the kid along, you know? So you guys are probably, what are you doing? What is Alex doing? Oh, he's researching the plant. I thought he was like interviewing her. But you guys are probably like, um, Maya, why is 
but I said a whole new day. What's going on? Um, if you're new here, I'm terrible with my recording. Sometimes it messes up. And what happened was, and this has happened plenty of times in the past, I click off of like The Sims game, check my recording time or do something else. And the recording will stop and not restart itself. Um, I believe Alex had his baby. Like you guys saw that. Um, I redid the house because we got a whole bunch of money dumpster diving. I don't, you guys didn't see that. We also celebrated Thanksgiving. I'm so mad that I do this, you guys. And I know, like, don't click off of the recording. Or if you click off of the recording, start a new one because it's going to stop. And what do I do? I don't start a new one. Um, so I redid a nursery or I did a nursery for him. Also, the reason we had a lot of money is because Hallie did get a promotion. And we decided to make her... Um, a utilities assistant she chose the option where she like goes out and pursues people to get their stuff together also um i was ending the episode actually when i noticed like when i went to go finish my recording i hit finish and i always go look over the recordings to make sure everything turned out right and i saw that it cut off i'm gonna keep playing until hallie gives birth um because i feel so bad for not getting everything for you guys and you missing out on what happened so yeah we're gonna keep playing until she gives birth hopefully emery becomes a toddler and you guys can see that also i didn't finish the fix the roof i just realized that i did all that remodeling and didn't fix the roof so let me go do that all right the roof should be fixed now yeah okay good um did i i didn't i still never painted that <sighs> i'm awful but yeah we're gonna keep playing until hallie gives birth hallie is in her third trimester and question mark question mark question mark is when she gives birth um so we'll play until then i'm excited i'm excited to see her baby boy um the room that i gave the boy is really tiny because it's just gonna be a baby even if it's only for like a day or two um and then when they get older i'm gonna split the room like pull the room longer so they get more room um but honestly i can see hallie saying like we don't need a big space it's just us two i'm talking about when her and alex here break up because that's sure gonna happen also you guys you guys you guys he was sad he was missing family from being family oriented he was missing his daughter he got that moodlet i've never seen that moodlet before but because he's a family oriented sim and doesn't live with his family he was really sad so i can see him leaving hallie for um emery and brenda so yeah especially because he sees that hallie has her life together and that she's great maybe he's like brenda and emery need me more type of thing and he feels bad for missing out on emery's life so I think that might happen. I love this new area that I gave them and that I was able to make their house slightly bigger. I just realized she didn't go to work today. <gasps> you guys, you guys, you guys. Look who's here. No, this is Brenda. I wanna see what's gonna happen. I wanna, go I wanna see what's gonna happen. She's probably like, hello? I texted you, we had our daughter, and look, she's thinking about Hallie. Hallie's like, oh, someone's at the door, babe. Let me go get it. Oh my goodness, invite her in. Oh, this episode, this episode, you guys, you guys. I mean, maybe it's good my recording did cut off because we wouldn't have saw this today. She's like, hey, can I help you with something? And I think Brenda's seeing that baby bump. Maybe he's gonna come out like, hey, Brenda, um, Hallie told me you were here. And Brenda's probably like, uh, who is that? He went in the house to flirt with her. He made sure that Hallie didn't see. Hallie, you need enough's enough. Hallie sees nothing wrong with this. She doesn't even know that this is someone that he has a relationship with. So she's just going to kiss him like, hey, babe, what's going on? And she's like, wait, what? She's like, what? No way. And Hallie's like, what do you mean? What do you mean? No way. This is, this is my boyfriend. Who is he to you? Who are you? So she's going to give him a friendly, her friendly introduction. Cause she doesn't know why, like he's so, she's so mad about this. She's going to ask about Alex. Like, uh, so how do you, how did you and Alex meet? And she's like, I am so in love with Alex. We have a kid together. Do you not understand that? He's the father to my kid. 
and he told me he'll be here for me and the kid and i think that's when it's gonna hit hallie like wait 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 what all right you need to come in here because you keep going outside i want you to see that they're in here flirting like can you not see this alex has work soon and the spice fest <gasps> are they going to woo -woo? oh my goodness go here go here go here does she see that okay she's being jealous she sees this she sees that he is taking someone i did not tell him to woo, -woo with her <gasps> She's like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, poor Hallie. I think he thought she was still outside grilling the hot dogs. No, okay, Hallie, it's time now. It's time. They need to get out of your shower. Oh my goodness, this is so awful. And I don't even think he knows she's in there. Oh my goodness, poor baby. Drifting love, unfaithful love embittered heart oh my goodness she's s s everything and more what does she think of alex <gasps> oh my goodness she slapped him yes yes hallie slap him slap him oh my goodness she is like raging she doesn't look mad but she's mad she's mad and i think she wouldn't even be friends with him Ask what Alex's problem is. I've never seen this before. What is your problem? Right? You, why did you get me pregnant? Why did you move in with me if you promised this girl that you were going to start her family with her? You shouldn't have to ask that. You could say, I'm a little bitter. <gasps> what? What do you mean you're bitter? What do you mean? Yell at him. Oh my goodness, this is awful. And I feel like that Brenda girl just left. She's like, she did leave. She's like, Alex, tell this girl that you're coming home with me and I expect to see you home. No, 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 no. You're not going to work because we need to kick you out of our house before you go to work. You are definitely not going to work right now, Alex. No, yes, miss work, miss work because this... This isn't something that you can just leave about. He was really trying to leave. So now we're gonna argue about his career like you're gonna choose your work over your future kid. You're saying you wanna start a family with her and you told me the same thing. So what am I supposed to do? Oh my God, this is too much. This is too much. And he's like, I'm going to work. I don't know about you, I'm going to work. And I think this is when they're gonna break up. She's like, I'm not dealing with this. I'm not dealing with a cheater. I'm not dealing with someone that has a kid with someone else. Someone that woohooed in my bathroom, who moved in and just lied to me, basically. Like, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I can't believe this. All of, I know this episode is crazy, but I swear, all of these things are just happening. You know I wanted Alex to be a part of her life, but he is god awful. I can't believe they went in that bathroom and woohooed. And he's yelling at her like he wasn't the one. And yeah, she won the argument because you know what? Forget you. And we're breaking up. Don't ever come. Don't ever see my son. I don't care. You want to go live with her? You want to go live with her? Then go live with her. How about that? So I wish there was an option to kick out. Okay, they just broke up. Oh my goodness. She has so many negative movements. It's like in the way because she's pregnant. She's still happy to have a baby. Yes, throw a drink right in his face. You are awful. You're awful. You're awful. You're awful. You made my pregnancy awful. You made my life awful. Everything with you is awful. She really has to use the bathroom. She's going to end up peeing herself. She's like, no, I'm not peeing myself for you. Good. Go to use the bathroom. <gasps> Why is there fire? Why? Why? I hate this toilet, man. Oh my goodness. And you know what? Lil Simzy's Nightmare Legacy also always has fires. I think it's just this challenge. But yeah, I don't think we're done with Alex. Alex is awful. He needs to, like, she's really going to lay it in at, on him, like yell at him. Oh my goodness, the neighbors. And like, I heard you yelling. Is everything okay in here? She needs to leave, grab everything, and get out of my house. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Get out. She's like, get out. I'm done. 
I'm done. No, he's trying to flirt with her. Thank you. Thank you, Haley, for having the common sense. This man is awful. Yeah, you should be embarrassed. You should be embarrassed. The neighbors are like, this is, this is, what do we walk into? I think it's time that we move Alex out of the house. She's like, I'm done. When I leave this bathroom, I want you gone. <gasps> and she went into labor, no, no. This is wild. This is wild. He is going to go to work and when he comes back, he's going to go be gone. I can't, I don't want to leave the lot and move him out. So I'm just sending him to work and that way we can steal some money from him too before he leaves because this guy is probably never going to pay her child support or be around to see this child. And she is now in labor. I can't believe this. This is honestly so much and she has these random neighbors in her house and it's just like can you guys please leave please leave i'm going through a lot right now please can you guys go <sighs> all right she sent them all home and she's in an awful mood let's have her oh my goodness i can't believe she's bringing her son into something as crazy as this i guess she wants to finish her popcorn before she gives birth but now she's in this house by herself, pregnant, exhausted, drifting love, breakup blues, unfaithful love, and the awkward encounter of him trying to flirt with her after she caught him woohooing with, it was a lot, it was a lot. So she's gonna go to the hospital and have the baby. We're gonna join her so we can get the birth certificate. Here she is, pregnant and alone, about to deliver this baby. I can't believe this. <laughs> you guys, this legacy in this one episode took a turn for the worse. I really imagined her falling in love with Alex, having a long, not even a long life because it's a short, it's a short legacy, but having a life with Alex and having a baby. And then all in one episode, we got pregnant. We figured out that Alex has another woman pregnant. We also figure out, oh my goodness, that that woman and Alice had woo in their bathroom. So now she's a single mom and delivering a baby by herself. This is, I feel so bad for her. This is quite literally awful. I feel so bad, but your son is going to be born in love, okay? That's what's important. And I think that's what she's realizing is that I am now a mom and that's what's important. I'm a mom, I'm in charge of a little human. And because just because I'm single mom doesn't mean I can't take care of my son or be a good mom. So next episode, she's gonna enter motherhood alone. So yeah, that's crazy. Let me, let me go look through some comments Oh, I'm reading the comments and someone's like, Talia's like, yes, Alex, I love him. Have a baby with him. Well, Talia, Talia, I apologize if I'm pronouncing your name incorrectly, but my goodness, yes. Yes, I thought so too. I thought, let's have a baby. Talia, we have our baby now and he is awful. So we thought wrong. Um, Kylie said Alex is perfect for her. It seems, Al <laughs> you knew. You knew, Kylie. You said, it seems. You knew. Uh, Nikki said, <laughs> Alex is perfect, so handsome, great traits. In a challenge where you are pretty much guaranteed you're going to get with one of the first Sims you meet, Hallie struck, struck gold. Nikki, I thought Hallie struck gold too. <laughs> so this is insane. But let me look through the names. You guys left me amazing names for some boys. All right, I think I'm going to settle on Keanu. And that was given to me by Nikki. Thank you, Nikki. And Nikki said the ma name means the breeze. I just really, really like the name Keanu Bustos. So we have our air people. We are going to end the episode off here. And oof, this one was a doozy. This one had everything and more in one single episode. Please comment down below your thoughts. I would love to hear them because I'm hoping that I'm not the only one that thinks this was just pure craziness crazy but either way 
Our um, founder is a single mom now, and she's going to raise this baby boy herself. I don't think there's any hope for Alex and Hallie, and I wouldn't want her to be back with Alex anyway because he's awful. This was just, I think she's gonna be really jaded. She's a serious person, so I think having someone who she really was connected with be so terrible is going to really change her outlook on love. But let me know, what do you see for Hallie in the future? What do you see for little Keanu? Um, and we should have him as a toddler next episode and Hallie should be an adult next episode, which is exciting. But oh my goodness, I had so much fun. This was a wild ride. But I will uh, see you all in the next one. Bye now. Oh, 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 oh,